Hello HFK, Father Tyler here, coming from the rectory this time. Uh, part two today of what priests wear. Wait a minute, these are street clothes. Is this what priests wear? <laughs> Okay, this is probably more familiar to all of you, the typical clerical attire of a priest. Now, what you saw in the introduction of the video, it's true. Priests can and do wear casual street clothing from time to time. There is no rule in the church that says a priest has to wear clerical attire 24-7. If I'm working out, or if it's my day off, or I'm on vacation, or hanging out with family and friends, I will typically wear casual, everyday clothing. Now, obviously, if I'm celebrating the sacraments, or if I'm doing any kind of ministry or work-related activity, I'm going to wear this because this is the outward identifying, you know, clothing that says, hey, I'm a priest. But just like any profession, it's not the clothing that makes me a priest. But it's important that when I'm doing ministry, I do wear clerical attire. Now, one thing you probably didn't know is that the traditional clerical shirt here, there are different styles of clerical shirt. The style that I'm wearing right now, this is what we would call the full Roman collar. And that's because the collar, the white part, goes fully around my neck completely around my neck and so this is what we call the full Roman collar. Now the style of clerical shirt that you probably see most is this style that I have here. This is what we call the tab collar version. Uh, tab collar because it has this white plastic tab part that comes out and can slide in really easily. And it, the collar obviously does not go completely around the collar just only shows in the front, but a lot of priests just wear this. Very simple, very comfortable. So tab color shirt, full Roman color shirt. One's not better than the other. It's, it's up to the preference of the priest. Now, another type of uh, attire that a priest can wear, I mentioned it in the first video, is the long black robe called the cassock. Now you've seen me wear the cassock on Sundays. Uh, it's what priests traditionally wore. The long black robe goes to the floor called the cassock. Now there's some accessories that a priest can wear with the cassock. One being this item right here, this kind of waist, you know, sash, this waist belt. This is what we call a fascia. And you would wear this around your waist after you have the cassock on and you see it has the sash part here with tassels and the sash part hangs down from the left side and you wear this around your waist. I don't wear this, the fascia, uh, simply because this one does not fit me. I have to get one that fits me. But traditionally a priest, when he wore the, the cassock, the long black robe, he would wear this sash, the fascia, around his waist. Another thing that a priest traditionally would wear if he was going outside um, when he wore the cassock. I, I don't own one, but I have a photo of one. This photo here, what you see the, the, the hat, the hat that the priest is wearing, this is a traditional clerical hat. Uh, remember in the last video, I was wearing a beretta. The beretta is specifically for a liturgy, liturgical function. This was just more of a practical hat that he could wear outside. This is a hat called a saterno. Uh, named after the, uh, the planet Saturn, because it kind of looks like the planet Saturn, uh, the dome and then the large brim, the large ring around the hat. So this traditional clerical hat was called a Saturno, and the priest uh, would wear this if he went outside, kind of block his head from the sun. So the Beretta that you saw me wear last time, that's for liturgical function. The Saturno would be used just for everyday common um, use outside. Now another accessory that a priest can wear with the long black robe, the cassock, is this white uh, garment here. This is called a surplus. Now don't get this confused with the long uh, white 
garment called the alb. Remember I talked about in the last video that when a priest is getting ready for mass, the first garment, the vestment that he puts on is the full length uh, garment, the alb, it goes all the way to the floor. Well, the surplus here, this only goes about halfway down the body or sometimes three quarter length of the body. So it's shorter than an alb. Alb goes all the way to the floor. Uh, the surplus only goes about halfway or three quarters of the length of the body. You've probably seen in some parishes altar servers where the black cassock with this white part over it called the surplus, right? So cassock and surplus, uh, sometimes servers will wear that. Now a priest would wear a surplus over his cassock uh, for various reasons. A lot of times if he's doing some sort of liturgical or sacramental duty that's not the mass, uh, he would wear traditionally the cassock and the surplus. For example, traditionally if a priest was hearing confessions, um, he would wear the black cassock, the long black robe. He would wear this kind of three quarter length white vestment, the surplus, and then would wear the purple stole over it uh, when he would hear confessions. When priests would go to gravesides to do committals, again, traditionally would wear the black cassock, the surplus, and then the stole. Uh, so this is a uh, surplus. Priests wear these uh, sometimes with the cassock. Um, this one, as you can see, kind of fancy, has lots of lace, uh, but again, something a priest would wear with the cassock depending on what he's doing. Now lastly in today's video I want to talk about the theology. There is a theology behind clerical attire. There's a reason uh, that priests wear black and that the color part is white. Now there are other colors of this. I have seen all colors of the rainbow of clerical shirt. Uh, there are white shirts, there are gray shirts, blue shirts. I've even seen Hawaiian print shirts with the white collar. But most Roman Catholic priests are going to wear black shirt with the white collar. Now there are varying, you know, theological explanations or inflections on this. The one that I've heard that I like the best is the color black that a priest wears reminds him of sin. So black represents sin and it reminds the priest when he puts it on that he himself is a human being, that he himself is a sinner that a priest is no better than any other faithful Catholic person. That he himself uh, also commits sin. So the black reminds the priest of his sinfulness, of his humanity. Now the only other part of the shirt that's a different color is the collar. The collar is white. And what part of the body anatomy is the, the white part covering? Well, his neck, his throat, particularly the vocal cords. So the church teaches that the greatest duty of a priest, the number one duty responsibility of a priest is to preach or proclaim the gospel. To preach or proclaim the good news of Jesus, that's the fundamental duty of the priest. And how does a priest primarily proclaim or preach the gospel? Well, vocally with his voice, right? He, through the, the homilies that he preaches, through the sacraments where he has to say out loud the prayers. And so the voice of a priest is so important. And so the white represents purity, right? The, the, the part that's pure. And the part of the priest that needs to be pure is his voice, because that's what he's using, primary part of his anatomy that he's using to proclaim, to preach the gospel. So the black represents the sinfulness, the humanity of the priest. The white represents the purity. Uh, that the priest needs in order to properly proclaim, preach the good news of Jesus. So a little more today on things that priests wear. There might be a third video because there is even more out there that a priest wears. Stay tuned. God bless.